how Chinese companies and corporations can get media features, news features in the West. I'm talking to the big Chinese corporations as somebody who has done online reputation management for corporations and individuals worldwide, everybody from your everyday people to politicians, global leaders, uh, Fortune 1000s, and even leading Chinese education companies like iTutor Group and Tutor ABC. I've done reputation work for them. I've helped companies um, from east to west get positive articles in the press. I've also helped, uh, you know, former presidential candidates in Latin America, um, nanoparticle technology, uh, nanosilver startups get features in the press as well. So no matter where you are. I can help you get featured in the news, and if you'd like to have a conversation about how that works, you can just hit the calendar link down below, 30 minute call, I'll give you free info anyway. If you are a company in China looking to get features in the press, and perhaps where your stakeholders are, where your investors are, it's easier than you think. I'm going to give you an acronym, and this is what leads news. It's called SINFUL, Significant, Interesting, and New. So while many companies I see, the companies that I've spoken with in China have said, you know what, we could pay for this, we have the money, we're going to get a feature in Western media, we just made all this money, okay, that's great, you know, dollars, figures, these big things that make your business look great and powerful are fantastic, but what are you doing for humanity? I'll tell you, some of the really innovative companies in China are focusing on something called CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. And Chinese companies and companies around the world alike are really jumping on this, okay? And what that is, is showing how you get back to your community, how your business is sustainable, and how your business is being corporate, corporately socially responsible. So what are you doing in giving back? There are, you know, Chinese companies that will donate to, you know, alleviate hunger and poverty and will donate to the World Food Bank. And they will actually go and get a certificate from the United Nations or they will get a certificate from, you know, anybody who they've helped and they will showcase that on their website. Rather than showcasing on the website, what I'm going to suggest you do is get that in the press. So I'm going to give you a three-part process to get featured in the news. Okay, the first one is pitching. If you reach out to you know a news platform, if you reach out to anybody who's a journalist, whether that is through online, whether it's through Haro, help a reporter out, which is a really good uh, network. I'll drop it below. It's a good way to connect with journalists. Um, or you have a contact or a publicist. That's a great way to get earned media, but it can take a very, very long time. And many journalists in the West are going to try to filter out and include a whole story to pick a whole narrative that might not necessarily work in your favor. It can be very counterproductive, very arduous and expensive. The second thing I recommend is guaranteed press features. This is something that we do where we interview you. My background's in journalism. I have an honors degree in journalism from the University of King's College. I would interview you. I would learn about you. Within 24 hours, we'd create a transcript of our interview, and we would create a long-form journalistic style story in your favor. We would then pay a Google News syndicated publisher, you know, a high domain authority one like Yahoo Finance, Market Watch, The Associated Press, The London Post, depending on where your market is, and we would publish the story. We've had stories published in The Guardian, and we would have this rank the first page of Google. We would also have this reach new audiences. You can put some of these ads behind Facebook posts and actually promote them on Facebook. So in this way, you can drive your target audience or your existing viewers to positive press. And we can set that up for you. So that's the second thing we recommend, getting those guaranteed press features, having somebody within one of these markets write it for you. If you have a target market in the US and you're creating one of these positive stories about something positive your corporation has done, it's important you write in US English, not UK English or UK, Canada, Australia English. You need to write that in US English. There's so many finite rules, um, minute little tiny details that you have to follow in order to do that. So if you're a Chinese company trying to achieve press, um, it's something we can definitely help you with. I mean, I've traveled through China. I've lived in China briefly. Um, I've traveled throughout Shuzhou where I created um, car commercials, voiceover commercials, um, who have been given to you know top corporate clients 
um, in Beijing and Shanghai. There are a lot of things we can do in terms of helping you reach your target market. So if you have any questions specifically about them, drop them down below. Points to remember and takeaways from this video when pitching stories significant, interesting, and new. Focus on the big picture, not simply what makes the company powerful, but what makes the company good. Number three, look into large organizations, see if you can get certificates that you can showcase. Four, rather than just showcasing on the website, have it showcased in Google News syndicated outlets and on the web. And number five, continue looking for new opportunities, connect with journalists, connect with people like myself, have those conversations, and get published in the press. My name is Nader Najad, director of Nader Najad Media Incorporated, and thank you for watching.